I just had a lunch there and uh, at the Sundubu it's it's a dollar more than what I pay at my place in my neighborhood it was really good uh, way too much food I couldn't eat a lot of it so it looked like waste well I guess it, it technically was waste wasn't it they served me too much food I can only eat a little bit at a time really should I be worried about that That is a church. Huh, I bet at night that is lighted up really bright. This leads up to Seoul University Hospital. An ambulance came by to go into the hospital there. And pretty much everybody stopped to let it go and it was on emergency, except, except somebody driving an expensive black Mercedes-Benz. He didn't feel it. he had to stop for an ambulance. And of course they don't have cops here so it's just uh, on your honor. And uh, that wasn't very honorable but it does it does always things like that always underscore more emphatically how the rich think they are privileged and exempt from the rules of society. Something's got to give. Something's got to change. The world cannot keep going on with rich people thinking they can do anything they want and the rest of us have to follow the rules. Well, this looks fun. Uh, one of these uh, riverside parks and they have made a wading pool. Cool. It was, uh, that's the log sheet. I reached in there to get the log sheet. Wasn't, I wasn't looking. I just stuck my finger in there and it was a wad of wet paper but I thought it was a bug or a spider or something I squished. Oh man, I dropped that fast. <laughs> But this is, this is not just damp, this is soaking wet. So, I guess I'll, it won't take too long to dry, I don't think. And then I'll continue on my way. Dang. No, they're picking it up. No, they're stacking it. I don't know what they're doing. But I'm going to keep walking. closer to it. Hope it doesn't see me. Oh god, that would hurt. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ah, okay. I'm going to put it in the truck. Cool. That's one way to do it. I don't know if I've ever showed anybody this before, but this is how they make brooms. And I'm not saying this is just a rare thing. This is a very common thing. Very common way to make brooms. They just take some sticks and wrap it around with some wire. So uh, wrap it around a bamboo pole. And then that is a uh, dustpan. That's how they do dustpans. So it's pretty cool. Very cheap. Bamboo grows here like grass because, well, it is a grass. Yeah, we have a situation here. Um, they have restained this. There, there was a cache here. They've restained it. It's. I can't find the cache. I'm thinking. You can see they put the tape up there to keep people from touching anything. So, I'm guessing that the people who uh, restained this. Uh, found the cash and just tossed it. My guess. Because it was supposed to be in one of these corners according to one of the pictures I saw. It's supposed to be just stuck up there. And there's nothing stuck up on any of them. 
one of the hazards of putting them in a place like this is they do maintenance once in a while. Anyway, dang. This time it's a DNF and it's not my fault. I don't think. Could be, but I don't think. Now these are all restained. Oh, and the roof has been repainted too because I see paint drops. Yeah. All right. I'm finding quite a few though. Um, let me let me tell you what the problem has been. I uh, last night I, I looked at the geocaching.com map of this area, and I was going to plan myself a, a route. Usually I just go by uh, the Garmin and it just says, find the next geocache. Okay, just... So I end up zigzagging all over the place. Well, this time I, I made notes so that when I see on the... I can use the, the Garmin and just methodically go in a nice pattern and not waste any time or effort. The one thing I forgot was I forgot to load the GPX files for this area. I loaded the GPX files for a, another area. So I can't use the Garmin. I'm not even close to where the GPX files um, are, are pointing to. So, um, yeah. So all I had to go on was the notes I had made last night on a piece of paper. And these are my notes. So I had, I was going to make a nice, nice pattern. So I went up here, down here, back here and then back up and uh, made little notes about each geocache. The geocaches have pretty much been where you would expect them to be. So I've looked at this uh, a few times. Um, I have used the, the phone, the iPhone, a couple of times. Um, but that's about it. So I'm doing pretty well for not having my Garmin working. All right, I gotta find, uh, I made notes on one more geocache and then I've got two more I'm gonna have to use the iPhone for. The thing is with the iPhone, after 20 minutes of geocaching, the battery will die. I mean, it will just plain die. 20 minutes I think is about max. So I, I use it sparingly. All right, let's keep this going. See how many I can get.